Okay, so now we are at another week of Call of the Night. And from the last episode, episode 7, uh, we were introduced to several more vampires, which I did not expect, but it makes sense given the fact that a good number of them are in the opening. So the only one that I can remember, her name was uh, Sari, the blonde haired one that approached uh, Ko was the first one to approach Ko and then we met the four others so like I said it's going to take me some time to remember the other vampire ladies names over time they will have to show up a little bit more for me to remember their names but um basically they were kind of they they are worried about Nazana not turning Ko into a vampire soon enough because you know it it, it, it goes into like it can be a danger to to them because Ko is still a full-fledged human and he might be a risky uh, topic or something that can, you know, hurt the vampire society. So it's either he gets immediately turned into a vampire or they have to kill him, even though we have where Ko does want to become a vampire. So, um just a heads up also uh next week and the following week unfortunately i'm scheduled for work unless i can change the date so um next week and then the following thursday if i don't change the days uh the videos will be i will re uh record and upload on the friday okay unless it has changed unless i change it and i update you guys do the community post here on youtube so other than that let's get into episode eight of call of the night he told him straight my blood is tasty tell him straight Cole. So they don't trust Nazana to uphold her promise. <clears throat> I saw in the comments you guys said um, one of them ain't who they really appeared to be. What you guys are saying? <laughs> I could kind of figure who it is by looks alone, but I'm not too sure. Yeah. They have a time limit of one year. Why? For the first time. Oh, that's di That's different. Not even Nelson knew that. Oh, she knew, but she forgot. So there's a time limit? That's very interesting. Did she just... <laughs> And we only got five more episodes after this because it's 13 episodes. Thank you for clarifying that last week in the last episode. I thought it was 12. 
wait I, why y'all have to go to the open i have so much questions i have so many questions i want them to explain about this time limit Is it their blood is no longer fresh? That's what I'm saying. She does make sense. So that's why they say time limit one year. Mm, makes sense. That is true. Yep, and they'll they'll have no choice but to kill you because you know too much of their secrets by a year. So she has no choice but to turn him into a vampire. My boy was not thinking this through. And it's not like they gave a time stamp, but like, oh, he met Nelson in April, and right now it's like May or June or something. I hope they go into the specifics of why a year specifically. And we're introduced to one of the other characters. That boy. Didn't know he went to their school. Mahiru. That'd be easy. Kencho Ono, let's go. No, that boy's anywhere. No, or it's Mamaru. No. No, it's Kensho. Kensho. Well, I feel like he's talking about Siri. Because Siri's the only vampire that's just like a high schooler. And only at nighttime. Damn. You can tell my hero is a good kid. I like him already. I like him already. Ah, so he knew them since they were kids. Mm. So he, he always wanted them to be included. 
I like him. You the one that waking up at four o'clock in the morning. Yes, Siri is very terrifying, okay. <laughs> you did not leave a good first impression. <laughs> That's a difficult question. How does one fall in love? I'm terrified. Y'all hang out every night, so what's, what's the difference with a date? <laughs> Come on! She went out to play the PlayStation. It'd be like that. That would have been a I would have whooped hit. You don't do that to a game, bro. You don't do that. You don't do that. You never do that. I forgot she she's very shy when it comes to romantic love. Horrible. <laughs> it was horrible. She's going to figure it out. Oh. I told you she was going to figure it out. Damn. Why is he late? You should just hang out with her like you regularly did, man. And she's pissed now.
My question is, does she know where he lives? Oh, she does. So hold on, you knew where he lived all this time and all this time when my man had to use a transmitter to find you. My song. It needs to be on Spotify. They are always going on dates. Damn, that's some real <laughs> second now noise, man. Whoa, whoa, what what was that? Who is he talking about? Those guys have to be the best of friends to get drunk every single night. They have to. Do these kids not know anything about bedtime? I knew he would have known. My thing is, how y'all going out at night this late and your parents don't say nothing? Because if it was me. And you can say you didn't have no friends. Sure. Just a chill guy. If they do, I'm fine them. See, my boy thought he never had friends. He has them right there. He just never reached out to talk. A lot of stuff. I have a feeling he's the one hanging out with Sari. I feel like Mahiro hangs out with Sari at night.
she she kind of jealous all she thinking is the same person i don't think so Oh no, it's another woman. I thought it was Sari this whole entire time. Hi, cool, cool. So the girl that my hero is seeing must be like high school or college lady you going to jail you going to jail lady he a whole middle schooler y'all saying it ain't romantic with uh nazana and, and, and co but that lady with my hero now that hold on how you out of the end up so like that Okay, so this episode really was about how can Ko fall in love, you know? And they still didn't kind of, I guess in a way they did kind of explain the time limit for a human to become a vampire, but they didn't really tell us the specific details, but it's understandable in terms of like, they give them a time limit of one year because a human knows too much by that time. So if you don't turn into a vampire, say like from today, August 25th, and by next year, August 25th, you are not a vampire. During that whole duration, 12 months, okay, 365 days, you could have learned so, so much secrets about a vampire, okay? The one that is supposedly your, uh, what would that, what, what would you, your vampire parent or something of that sort your kin your supposed kin who's supposed to turn you into one by that time you know way too much and if you're not converted and because you know our secrets you know how we live what our society kind of looks like already how it's structured we have to take you out because we can't trust you enough to say that you won't spill whether purposely or accidentally to another human and mind you ko has been telling akira because remember akira met nazana and she knows she's a vampire so now unfortunately if you think about it akira is also in danger because she knows nazana is a vampire so i don't know probably i'm thinking too much on it i don't know if they're gonna if there is a vampire that's going to try to change akira or something heck even um i, I keep forgetting her name but the one who he did the massage for also knows that Nazana is a vampire. So already two other people aside from Ko is potentially in danger. Okay. They are potentially in danger. I wouldn't say Mahiru unless he ends up crossing paths with Nazana or one of the vampires and end up finding about their identity. Then you can say, okay, now he's in trouble too. Okay. Because who wants their secrets to be spilled and possibly used as an attack on them? and their livelihood we're just trying to live our lives trying to just chill relax in the nighttime and everything and yes get blood our food and everything but try not to cause trouble and all that stuff with interference of people who knows about who we truly are and can you know ruin that for us again like i mentioned in episode 7 reaction video uh castlevania vampires love structure and I'm guessing that's very true in this series as well. And it's also different from the vampire lore because I never knew. I guess only in this series there is that time limit to become a vampire. Other stories, other series, they never really mention anything like that. But that's actually a nice little something to add to the vampire lore. So uh, 
I mean, they do, they do every night go on their dates, <laughs> you know, every night they hang out with each other. That's a potential date. So, um, guys do tell me in the comment section below how you felt about this week's episode of call of the night episode eight or some things you were able to take from it. How do you feel about the newest character? I guess he's the last new character to be introduced. Uh, Cause they practically showed everyone that was in the opening unless they're going to show like one off characters for the remaining five episodes. Uh, but how do you feel about my hero? Um, what is his other than being uh, Akira and Cole's friend from childhood? Um, what other significance is he in the role as being that friend? Do not tell me if he gets, you know, confronted or anything, but just like what, what does his role play for both of these characters, um, in terms of, you know, the time limit, um, what are your, what are your thoughts on that? And how does that especially deal with Nazana? Like, cause she, she's kind of, she wants to, but I guess not at the same time. We, we really don't know what her mindset is trying to change Ko. Because Ko is insistent to become a vampire. But we really don't know about Nazana in this case. The links are in the description box. So you guys can go check that out. And I'm Kimi Chan of Anime Legends. And I will see you guys later. Bye!